that was deployed to Ramadi, Iraq in 2006. And after that deployment, I was up for re-enlistment and so I decided to re-enlist to go to MARSOC. MARSOC stands for Marine Special Operations Command. December 2009, I was on an operation uh, we were receiving pretty heavily uh, enemy fire from all different directions and a uh, sniper had shot me through the helmet, hit my scalp, uh, rode across and then uh, lodged itself into the other side of my helmet, knocking me unconscious in the bottom of my fighting hole. The diagnosis at the time was a major concussion and that's pretty much all the diagnosis they got uh, besides the wound being filleted open they sutured it shut and uh, just monitored me for uh, post concussive syndrome I was uh, diagnosed with PTSD um, probably earlier this year um, I had noticed some mood changes some irritability and I was isolating myself more it's causing problems at home with my marriage at work uh, just getting along with other people in general it was it was not good for me be, to be in a public setting like it would upset me just to be around other people really there was a lot of of time spent alone on his part um, he became severely introverted he became very distant um, from me from his family from my family little things would set him off he would um, uh, a discussion between us would become a heated argument. When you come back from a deployment, uh, you're not in your normal zone. Your normal zone in Afghanistan or Iraq or a war zone is you're on a, a bullet train going 300 miles an hour. And you and your buddies are on that train together. And everybody else is moving in slow motion, but you're still going 300 miles an hour. Now you come back from that deployment and you still want to go 300 miles an hour but local traffic's moving at 25. Like, you gotta slow down. But the problem is you don't wanna slow down because you've been moving at 300 miles an hour and you don't wanna get off that train. He didn't sleep a whole lot. There was a lot of sleepless nights, um, a lot of agitation and preparation for anything that could go wrong. Uh, he was always in a heightened sense. Uh, uh, he didn't, you know, he was, he was prepared at all times for anything that could happen. Um, and, and it wears on a person, it wears on a family. It is a hurdle to overcome the diagnosis because nobody wants to be dragged down by it. Um, once you mentally accept the fact that you have it, you can start combating the PTSD. But the sooner you accept it for yourself, that it is an issue and it is affecting people around you and people you care about, the sooner you can get it fixed. The only remedy I would suggest is, I'd say time. It, it takes time and the willingness to change for you to be able to fix these issues with PTSD.